Oh, shit. What? Uppercut? What? Uppercut? What? What? A duke -ant? A duke -ant? Oh, you get. I sight that spruget. I'd like some pound cake. Boom. What is going on? <laughs> All you badasses. Hanging out with the samurai guy on a Wednesday. Even then, what is going on? The troops are here. The ninjas have arrived. The samurai assassins. The movie dojo army. All you moving loving. Moving loving. <laughs> movie lover badasses. <laughs> watching right now hey what is crack a lacking how are you how are all of you beautiful badasses how are you doing tonight let's go to the let's go to the chiz at i love hanging out with you guys baby we gonna make it fun tonight that's right uh there's a lot of trailer reactions i'm going to do my best to do here live uh if samurai guy disappears you know what happened but, uh, yeah, let's take a look at some, uh, well, not right now. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. But, yeah, I decided to do uh, a plethora of uh, trailer reactions uh, because uh, there's some that Samurai Guy has missed, and there's some new ones that drop. And there's one of them that looks interesting. I was like, all right, if I'm going to react to it, let me do it live with you guys. I've been having a blast doing that with you guys, uh, since uh, last week. So, let's see who's here in the house. Roll call, baby. Jake Hall in the house, Heather in the house, Kevin Lambert. Who else? Oh, we got the sexy Subo here. <laughs> I don't think the intro was long enough. Wait, there was another comment I thought I saw Subo put in there. Hold on. There you go. I'm right there with you, buddy. I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you guys are unaware, me and the Subo are back to working out so yeah we, we we limping around the house right now severio what's going on how you doing <laughs> bob odin's son in the house we got mike swift what is going down son fire lightning thunder that's right got my nick Noti juice hold on a second let me get this in order There you go. All better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we gonna make it happen tonight. Oh yeah, baby. That's right. Movie trailers. Movie discussion. All that good stuff. Hanging out with the fam. Let's see. I guess we got enough people here. Let me go ahead and... Uh... There. Stop it like that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It got slow for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to do, do my Joker impression from uh, Batman 1989. Oh, I messed it up. Damn it. <laughs> What's going on? And Severio is doing good, watching some shows on Netflix. Everybody's telling the samurai guy, hitting them up. Yo, you need to get with them things that be strange. The things that be strange is, is off the heasy. It's off the chain. Uh, you need to start watching Samurai Guy. So I'm I'm getting the push. I'm getting I'm getting the push. Because I uh, believe it or not, I have not seen Stranger Things season three. I bought uh first two seasons. The first season was amazing. The second season was fun. I like the first season more. I think they just took too long. There's just too long of gaps between seasons. So when season three came out, I was already kind of like, lo I lost interest. Uh, but I'm hearing season four is right up Samurai Guy's alley, man. Sexy Sumo hit me up. A lot of other people that I know. Matt Merritt, that's right, from uh, Keep Forward Productions hit me up too. He's like, yo. Uh, season four is dark, violent. You know, the kids are a lot older now. I'm like, oh, shit. Samurai guy's going to have to start watching them things that be strange. That's right. That's right. Oh, you guys are watching it out, too. Oh, shit. There's another workout partner. Hey, Tino. Hey, what you doing at 830, son? 830. Let's go, man. We're going to meet at the park. Do some walking. 
Yeah, man. Let hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Good to see you, brother. Oh, Jake Hall just finished Ultraman Mebius. I, I pre-ordered that, Jake. So hopefully I'll get that in the mail soon. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. We just went back in time right there. Wow. How fun was that? How awesome is that? They saw that in the theater. That, that's a fun flick. I never saw the sequels, though. I only seen the first one. And I thought that was fun, so. We got Edward in the house. What's going on? Hope you're doing well, too, brother. Uh, we're talking them things that be strange right now, and then we'll jump into some trailer reactions here. Uh, Kevin says, so far, one and two are the best. Oh, one and three are the best. Okay. The season four is darker, but he's still not sure. What? You're in the homeland. You doing your hakas, brother? You do some hakas. Samoan hakas. All right, man. Cool. Hope you're having fun out there, my friend. Smokey and the Bandit in the theater. How cool is that? <clears throat> what well, we got enough badasses here watching right now. Let's have some fun. Uh, let's go ahead and do the first trailer reaction here. This is the menu. The menu here. Oh, we got movie Metal Rock McDonald in the house. What's going on, man? This time meets the space monster. Hmm, that might be a future uh b movie review challenge flick that right there so all right let's go ahead and do some screen share option we will make the video transformative do some picture and picture option i mean picture and picture <laughs> with the logo in the video making it transformative gotta follow the rules uh we gotta you know samurai guy's a nice guy gotta follow the rules hopefully i don't get fucked over here all right so let's do the first one all right the menu i don't know anything about it I, I it's just making me hungry i don't know what's going on so let's see what it is this was by request that's right from uh i believe anubis i thought i saw a posting so i was like why not one of our movie dojo badass channel members so let's go ahead and check this out the menu <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Here we go. All right, here we go. The menu, let's do it. Who you shot? We got some, we got the fines. Good evening. Oh, welcome to Hawthorne. Anya. It'll be our pleasure to feed you. Tonight will be magical. Oh, got Nicholas Holt up Over in the here. the next few hours, you will ingest fat, salt, Protein, and at times entire ecosystems. We're eating the ocean. We're eating the ocean. All right, Ralph Fiennes sounds evil. <laughs> it's just I find it all very moving. So it's okay that I'm not as into this as you are. Oh my god! The hell? You shouldn't be here tonight. Ooh. You, my dear guests. Oh, are not the common man. Isn't that right? Is he going to keep doing that? What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside. I knew we something fishy was going on. Nanosecond. Nature is timeless. What the hell is going on? I love you all. Let's go. We love you too, sir. Let's get dark. The Violent. Dishes. This is Bergamot. I'm getting a chef. Yes, it is. <laughs> the menu. All right. So let's take a look at this again. Interesting. I, I'm glad that it went dark. I'm pretty sure that's why Anubis picked this to, for us to watch tonight. At least we can talk about it. But yeah, as soon as Fine started talking, I was like, all right, he's the bad guy. <laughs> the way he was talking. <laughs> You are about to eat fat, and you are about to eat the things of the earth. I'm like, he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. All right. So I guess we're on team Anya here. Um, I would be reacting the same way. Oh, look at it. Look like a little volcano. Look at it. Erupted in there. Oh, look at it. It doesn't even look real. 
So <laughs> we got a whole bunch of rich people, I'm assuming, getting treated to the the delicacy, these exclusive, exquisite delicacy. But what they don't know is that it's full of solid green and solid green is people. Sorry, I just spoiled the movie Soilet Green for you. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got the Leguizamo. Hey, do you think John Leguizamo is going to live in this movie? But yeah, you get a little bit of a, I'm sensing a little bit of a cult-esque vibe uh, we got going here. Yeah. What is the intention? We don't know. Are they cannibals? We won't know. Were they busting out the schmores there? We, we going to have some schmores? What, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, look at the schmores. Mm, it's so evil. <laughs> yeah, we uh, definitely a little bit of a get out feel uh, to this. Uh, I, I guess don't don't say their food sucks because they're gonna fuck you up. I guess. But yeah, definitely, definitely, this is a cult. It's a cult of sort. Um. Nicholas Holt, he's dead. I'm calling it right now. Uh, but yeah, pretty good cast. Uh, we'll have to. It does. See, there you go. That's how I was like. It feels get, get out esque. Uh, but yeah, we'll we will have to wait and see if the menu uh, delivers. We'll see when that comes out. It looks interesting though. I will. I will give. I will give because it didn't show that much, which is probably a good thing. You don't want things spoiled. I'll give it two thumbs up. It's interesting. I'll give it two thumbs up. I'll give that trailer two thumbs up. All right. Let's keep it going. I'm having a blast here. That is the menu. All right. Let's bring up the next one here. Hold on. Let me get the screen share option going. Knocking it out of the park tonight. All right. Next up, we got the man from Toronto. And it looks like it's starring Kevin Hart and Woody. I mean, we love us some Woody. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. I can already, uh, just with that, just with Kevin Hart and Woody in the title here, already, uh, this is an action comedy, right? <laughs> like it has to be. But yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's check out the man from Toronto. Here we go. Booga shot. Hey, Toronto. You ready to go back to work? We need Ooh, an extraction ca of candy. We meet at the safe house in 19 hours. Hey, what y'all doing in there, man? Time you late. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> Follow me. You're gonna take me on tour. Whoa, Jason Statham got hey, huge. Room. Airbnbs, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, shit, no! Who is that? This is the man from Toronto. Wait, what? I'm the man from Toronto. All right. And he's here to torture you. <laughs> All right, so we got Why some... in God's name were you in that cabin? Mistaken identity movie. They wanted me to be the guy that you guys are looking for, but I'm not that guy, but I had to act like I was. Oh, I'm more this. No. They wanted me to torture the guy. I'll dig these goddamn thumbs in your eyes, and I will love it. <laughs> I will love it. What's that? <laughs> All right, all right. Do do? Our only way to find the man from Toronto is if you continue to be the man from Toronto. Hey, yo, what's my name? The man that you're talking about is a, is a, is a real crazy person. <laughs> Kill people, chops them up. All right, this is Come good on. casting here. Hola. I am the man from Toronto. Objection. No, I'm the man from Toronto. Oh, so is on you. Hey, yo, fuck, fuck. All right, all right. Think you me, so you're gonna complete the mission. You have no idea what I'm gonna do to you. Hmm? <laughs> I'll never touch you like that again. You got this. I'm scared. Own it. Leave the knives around. Somebody needs to talk. <laughs> Swallow. Definitely getting an an analyze this vibe a little bit too. We got this. Hopefully we got some fun fight scenes in this. All right. All right. But I don't want to be you anymore. One more time. Let's go. All right, let's go. Ash got in my way.
PG-13, I knew it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm willing to forgive it. I'm willing to forgive it because it's an action comedy. <laughs> but, I mean, we might have some fun fights. You know, we'll see what let's see what happens here. Let's go back. Let's watch it again here. Uh definitely got that little <laughs> a little bit of analog. Yeah, this might be fun for sure. Uh we got uh you know Woody, Woody it's always great seeing Woody. You know what's really funny is growing up when I was a young samurai, uh I just cheer every time cheers came on or mash i just like tuned out <laughs> i was just like uh the adults are watching adult shit and i just didn't care you know what's really funny is that lady fabla just recently started watching cheers <laughs> on uh hulu and to see if she'd like it because she was she was just like And uh, she's like got she's she's like been binge watching. She's like several seasons in, and she likes she likes Cheers. And it's funny because now I'm watching it, and I'm actually liking it now, which is just so funny how things change over time. But you get to see young Woody Harrelson, man. You know, it's fun seeing him so young showing up on that. But yeah, let's go. This is good casting. This is good casting here for these type of roles. So hopefully, it's fun, man. Hopefully it's fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the fighting. Let's get the act. And hopefully it's fun. You know, it's hard. It's hard enough to do a comedy. Because uh, there's so many comedies I'm sure you guys seen out there that are amazing. But there's so many other, there's so many more out there. The uh, comedic films that just fall flat. <laughs> like Red Notice. Yeah. My favorite movie of last year. Uh, just generic Falling flat. There's just nothing to it. You're going to forget about it as soon as you turn it off. Was it harmless experience? Yeah, to some people. Uh, but hopefully this is a fun time. Hopefully this is good. So so if you guys have Netflix, definitely uh, check out The Man from Toronto. Let's go. We've got some stunt work there. Big shout out to the stunt men and stunt crew making it happen. Yeah, hopefully it's a fun flick. Hopefully it's pretty hilarious. But we're going to keep it rocking and rolling baby let's go let's go we on fire so far tonight the menu looks promising the man from toronto looks like it might be a fun little action flick a little comedy there uh but yeah let's keep it going here hold on let me get to the next one here set it up having a blast all these badass Let us do the next one. <laughs> All right. Now, we, we about to do some George Miller up in here now. I was like, what? Because I thought George Miller's next project, uh, one of the greatest directors of all time, uh, I thought George Miller's next project was the Anya. <laughs> We're back to Anya again. Uh, Furiosa movie. So when this dropped, and people were letting me know about it, what is this? So I was like, well, let me go ahead and do the trailer reaction live with the movie Dojo Army and everybody watching right now. So uh, I don't know what this is. So we have the 3,000 Years of Longing uh, first trailer right here uh, from the legend himself. That's right. The Road Warrior, Mad Max Fury Road, George Miller. Let's check it out. Let's 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 get it cracking. Let's get it going. Here we go. We can shout. My name is Alethea. My story is true. Great actress right here. I am a solitary creature by nature. I have no children, no siblings, no parents. You know what this means. I did once have a husband. It's time for an adventure. If there is fate, who can say? But in the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul, I chose a memento. I like it. Whatever it is, I'm sure it has an interesting story. Oh boy. What? So, what would you wish for? What is your heart's desire? I wished for you, Idris Alba. 
What does one do with three wishes? You'll see. What is going on? All right, we got us a fantasy flick. Okay. was not expecting Jeannie Idris Elba, I tell you that. About wishing that is not a cautionary tale. We all have desires, even if they remain hidden from us. But it is your story, and I cannot wait to see where it goes. Oh, how it might end. All right. Got a little bit of action. Crazy special effects visuals. Orgasms. All right. He'll be staying for a while. <laughs> I'm beginning to wish we'd never met. Don't say that! Oh, there's the end of the movie. All right, something's got to go wrong. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting for shit to hit the fan. That'll make things interesting for sure. I have a wish. <laughs> Ooh, sensual. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Now, now this. <laughs> now, now look at this, guys. Look at this. This is the <laughs> last week action movie PG thirteen. This week action movie PG thirteen. Fantasy comedy rated R. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, George Miller. Hail to the fucking yeah. You know, that's bad, right? When we got Genie movie Idris Elba doing his sexy, sexy thing, being big driss up in here. You know what I'm saying? Rated R. Rated R. Let's let's look at it again. <laughs> Oh, my, oh, oh, we got a kitten. We got a kitten. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. All right. I'm going to try to do this with the kitten on me. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Yeah. So right off the bat here, uh, th this is uh, Gravy. Ladoof uh, is the kitten here hanging out with us doing the trailer reaction together. Oh, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> why did you do this? Yeah. So right off the bat. Uh, you know, she's a recluse. She's, you know, not very social. So I knew off the back that an adventure was about to happen. And uh, Gravy is impatient here, uh, not really wanting to uh, hang out. You know what that shot, you know what I'm thinking about, right? <laughs> Where else is Tilda Swinton looking? <laughs> we got some orgies in this movie. There he is, the mad genius. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to see when the wish when the wishes go wrong and the shit hits the fan. Uh, we shall see. And that's and that right, little little man. We shall see what is going on. But she he's not having it, babe. <laughs> Gravy's not having it. Oh <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Oh no, Gravy's tangled up in the in the, the the headset. Hold on, hold on. All right. But yeah, we, we might get some crazy visuals here for sure, because it's George Miller. So um and uh, orgasms. Yes. Yeah, so uh two thumbs up for uh three years of longing. Hello. All right, all right, okay. Oh, I know. Oh. Gravy does not approve of the trailer. Samurai guy does. Let me see if I can get her, get him up to you. There you go. Hi, everyone. This is Gravy. This is Gravy. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> This is what happens when you watch live, man. You don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> there it is. There it is. 
uh, <laughs> were those old ladies from Fury Road? Hey, you never know. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll give it two thumbs up. Definitely looks interesting in the trailer. Hopefully the movie delivers. But I, I hope it's not predictable. Uh, I trust George Miller, so it should be a fun ride. I just hope it's not predictable to the point where wished for love and I found you, Big Driss. Now give me that, Big Driss. You know what I'm saying? I, and that's the end of the movie. I hope that's not what it is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, I hope that's not what we're having here. It's like, don't make it that obvious, movie. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Gravy is like, there's no, there's no mics in the trailer. <laughs> oh God. Ah, this is what happens. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it's a cool flick. All right, let's keep it rocking and rolling. Having a blast so far. Let's get the next one up and running. And then the floor is yours. That's right. We can talk movies, pop culture, hang out. Which is what I love doing with y'all badasses up in the heezy. All right, here we go. Now, <laughs> I saw a clip of this, and I was like, what is this? So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do trailer reaction. Let me do it live with you guys. <laughs> so, uh, I'm assuming, I am assuming they're, they're not serious here. Because if they're serious, come on. It's impossible. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be an action comedy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out Ninja Badass. Let's check this trailer out. <laughs> Hold on. Let me do some share screen action volume on. <clears throat> I might need some more Nick Nolte juice. There we go. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. All right, here we go. Independent filming. Let's 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 go. Here we go. Ninja badass. Let's check it out. Buikasha. Ooh, look at all those awards. Ooh. To make you ninja. It will be the hardest thing you ever do. If you fail the ultimate ninja test, I will be forced to strangle you to death. Oh, what? what the fuck are you talking about? I'll choke your fucking chicken. Those are the rules. <laughs> They're foreign and magical. Weird and Asian. Now, eat an egg roll and do like this. What? <laughs> what? Yes, sir. I used to be the best goddamn ninja in Indiana. Does he have a jib for an arm? I think he's got a jib. Yes! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Big Twitty. Ninja badass of the Midwest. Clearly. Oh my god. We're grabbing your puppies and we're fucking you up. Let's go. What is happening? It's our lucky day. <laughs> oh my god. Ninja Garden. Get me the fuck out of here now. What? I say well no. I found my new my new country song. You can't stop me. I got superpowers. <laughs> I just found my new ringtone. I'm an ninja now. <laughs> Man. Oh well, five stars now. That's it. A plus. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right one more time one more time <laughs> oh my god hold on hold on hold on 
All right. So, man, that's a lot of awards. Uh, so this has potential. If this is as funny, ridiculously uh, low budget fun, if this is as funny as Velocipaster, uh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm, ar- I'm actually already in from this trailer. Uh, I'm giving this trailer two thumbs up. <laughs> and we have a jib. He has a jib for an arm after he got his arm ripped off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, uh, we got ninjas at church. We got church ninjas. You know, blah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this guy's name? Tweety? Tweety? Look at that. Oh, woo. Badass right there, son. Yeah, here we go. This is what I was la- <laughs> laughing at. We got ninjas. <laughs> I think I found my new wallpaper for a uh, Facebook page. I think it's it now. <laughs> Ninjas at church. We're not, you know, you're evil. You're stealing puppies now. You eat, that's the, the most evil thing you can do. Oh, my God. I love how at the end, uh, we got some, oh, look, look, look at the ninja run. Look at the ninja run. Look, the guy on the right. Watch. The guy on the right. <laughs> Uh, why is the, why is the dragon here from Hong Kong? What is going on? We're just throwing everything at it. What I don't even know what's going on right there. Oh man, shot in the dick. Horrible way to go. We got a flying foot. All the all the montage carnage at at the end here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was like. We're showing cars blow up. It's chaos, and then all of a sudden, you know. We got uh we got we got food. Food and boobs. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to uh review that for you guys now. I gotta do it. I gotta do I gotta do it now. Two thumbs up for ninja pastor. I'm glad I did this live with you guys. I'm glad I'm glad we did this together. <laughs> Oh my god, if they ever did a Thundercats movie, they should do Lionel's hair like the blunt guys. Like super what is that? A super kind of kind of mullet? Twisted sister ninja. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Uh sumo is sold. Sumo sold. <laughs> oh, looks like some of you liked it. Oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> now, now, see, this is what you come for, right? I guarantee you, no other YouTube channel is reacting to Ninja Badass but me. <laughs> or talking about it live. <laughs> Hell, you never know. Maybe Samurai Kai reach out to the director and get him on here in the podcast. I don't know. See, this is what you get. Exclusive, exclusive, crazy entertainment here on that fat samurai guy. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, Bobby Reynolds! Thanks for the super chat. I got a video idea, and it's about which movies that are cheesy and films that people think they're cheesy. They're they're not. Let's see. Oh, I got you. I got you, Bobby. So kind of like movies that are like legit badass or le- or legit really good but people think are cheese fest that'll be that'll be an interesting video that's interesting that's a tough one though like you really have to to uh think about that <laughs> uh, a, a really great youtube channel that i watch sometimes excuse me <clears throat> the nick nolte juice ain't working um uh, ggbb uh good uh good bad 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 this is a hilarious channel and they just reviewed i think it was last week or the week before stuart gordon's robot jocks have you guys seen that in robot jocks it's basically a in comparison an extremely low budget 
Pacific Rim type movie that came out in the 90s. <laughs> but what's so funny is I was surprised because I, that movie, I remember renting, renting it at a video store, watching it and enjoying it, um, uh, despite all the cheese and the fun. But I remember liking it, like legitimately liking it. So when I clicked on their review of the movie, I was like, you know, they're going to rip it to shreds. They're going to tear it up. They actually, they gave it a good, good review. This is like, I guess with their system, I think they, I think they gave it good, bad, I think, but they said it's legitimately a good movie. It's actually a good movie. So, um, but yeah, so that's a, that's an interesting, uh, video, Bob. I'll have to notate that for sure. That might be something fun to do. That's right, Severio. Exclusive content only here on YouTube, baby. <laughs> ah. Oh, my goodness. It's all, it came out in the 90s. I'm pretty sure it was in his early 90s or late 80s, but uh, I can't remember when. Uh, but yeah, so far the trailer reactions tonight, uh, the menu looks promising. Uh, the man from Toronto might be, hopefully might be fun. And, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the fantasy film, the R rated fantasy film of dreaming about big Driss, uh, I'm sure is going to be wild and Ninja badass. Uh, yeah. Samurai guy is going to have to review that for you guys here. We're gonna. We're, we're, I'm gonna. I have to. I have to now, because that looks so. It looked like a lot of fun. All right. So now this is not a trailer. This is a like a a, a sneak peek video, uh, kind of behind the scenes featurette uh, of the Black Phone, uh, starring Ethan Hawke. Now remember when I get remember 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 when that trailer dropped back a long time ago. I didn't do a chance. I didn't get a chance to do a trailer reaction to it, but. Um, we talked about it here because you guys asked me, oh, the black phone, black phone. And from that first trailer that I watched, uh, I was like, Ethan Hawke is going to fucking kill it in the movie. That's the vibe I got. And the premise looked interesting. But my fear was you're going to barely see Ethan Hawke. Um, the movie's going to be nothing but kids throughout the entire film. And you're going to only get an Ethan Hawke in spurts, <laughs> which might be a good thing, which might be a bad thing. I don't know. It depends on the context of the movie, right? And the story, right? Um, but I was kind of all in with the trailer, even with the kids there. And a lot of people were like, hey, it just reminds me of it or, you know, whatever. But um, I can I can see that with the kids. But there was one quick clip from that trailer <laughs> where the ghost of a little girl was trying to help the kid that was kidnapped and, and getting and trying to show him how to fight and, 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 and get him to fight. That's what the trailer looked like. That scene, when, when it comes out in the movie, that scene might be something totally different, right? But how they showed it in the trailer, it looked like we had a martial arts fight montage. <laughs> with the ghost of the little girl like, like itty or we're talking itty bitty all right showing like him how to strike and fight and and the ghost of her was like in the back and he and the, he basically it's no retreat no surrender with bruce lee's ghost showing up to show our hero how to how to, how to kickbox okay but you can forgive that movie because that movie was ridiculously fun they weren't, I don't think they were being serious with no retreat, no surrender. So you can have fun with that. But this though, I was like, I don't know. I don't know about that scene. That might annoy me. But hey, trailers could sometimes be deceiving in a good way or a bad way, right? So when I go see the movie, um, hopefully that scene makes a little bit more sense. But I don't want to see little girl ghost montage doing martial arts, trying to show him how to fight. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all aboard. I'm all aboard with Ethan Hawk. But let's see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, so let's check out this featurette and see if uh, Samurai Guy, uh, see if my interest uh, increases here. So let's go ahead and check out the Black Phone featurette here. 
All right. Uh, black phone. Well, let me blow it up for us. Get a little bigger. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right. Let's check out the black phone feature it. A look inside. Here we go. Booky shot. There's a time in all our lives when it's fun to be told a scary story. There he is. Oh, <laughs> you goof. Hey, everybody, gather around. I'm going to tell you about the grabber. Let's go. I the grabber. A time magician. Are those black balloons in there? Would you like to see a magic trick? He's not a good person. Some part of his soul has been so eroded that he can justify things that most of us don't even want to think about. Dude, Ethan Hawke is great. This face. It's very rare to see me playing bad guys because if you do it right, people believe you are spawn of Satan. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> That's what we want. The good news is, whoa, the that looks cool. Me to go to the dark side. Go to the dark side, Ethan. Let's go. What if I could help the police find Finny? I made you some breakfast. Would you put that? Pepper. <laughs> it's like a sibling movie to Sinister that's going to a deeper, stranger place. All right, all right. It's like to picture a group of friends going to a movie theater at midnight because being scared out of your mind is what the film is about. Who is this? You know what I mean? You're getting out of here. Cut up the phone! <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, yo. All right, baby. Rated R. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I was so scared that this was going to be PG-13 because not all Blumhouse movies are horror movies are rated R because, you know, you want to make, you know, you want to make that quick, easy buck, that safe buck. Make it PG-13. You get more butts in the seats. Yeah. All right. I'm all in now, guys. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in now. I'm in now. Let's go back uh, a little bit more. There was a shot where the mask looked fucking badass, and I'm not sure. Man, Ethan Hawke, he's really become one of my favorite actors, which is funny because I, I never was really interested in his early career. Uh, but now I've been watching his recent stuff for the past maybe uh, five to six years in his later career, and I've become a fan. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he, he's going to kill it. He's going to kill it. And Ethan Hawke, he's going to go all in, which is great. Uh, but yeah, it's rated R. Fuck. Yeah, man. Thank God. Look at this motherfucker, man. <laughs> now, now, you know, it's when this movie comes out, everyone's going to try to buy that mask. You know, you know that, right? But yeah, there's one shot where it looks freaky, man. Now I don't know if that's an actual mask he's wearing, or um, it's like he's wearing different masks right here, or it's just what the kids seeing because he's kind of freaking out. But yeah, there's a sh that dude. I like that <laughs> that shot right there. Let's go, yeah, baby. Let's go. Bring it, Ethan. We know we we trust you, man. We believe in you. I mean, hopefully the movie gives him, you know, a chance to shine and the script is good. And, you know, the movie, hopefully the script does not fail the actor because sometimes that happens. Uh, it's not the actor's fault if the script is bad. <laughs> um, But yeah, all right, man, especially with all these kids. I was like, this is going to be some PG-13 bullshit. I'm so happy right now, guys. <laughs> oh, that's why they said Stranger Things because of the, I mean, not Stranger Things, it, because of the uh, the yellow raincoat. <laughs> Georgie. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope this is a good movie. I want to, I actually want to go see this in theater. So hopefully, but yeah, I'm surprised. Come on, Ethan, let's go, baby. I'm uh, I'm surprised they did not go the safe route. Eh, make it PG-13, you know, get a couple more, couple more butts in the seats, you know. So that makes me happy. All right. No stinkers tonight. Okay. <laughs> Even Ninja Badass was entertaining in its own way. 
<laughs> All right. Uh-oh. You lost me? Oh, no. I'm back now, guys. Let me know if I'm, let me know when I'm back. Oh, it went it went uh it went black again. I agree, Bob. I agree. You know, it's so annoying. It's annoying when this happens because I'm following the rules. I'm making the video transformative with my picture in picture and logo in the in the you know over the actual trailer. And it's in the title, it's in the thumbnail, it's in the description, and it's tagged of what tonight's video is going to be. And all the trailers I'm going to react to and the videos I'm going to react to. And yet this still happens. Welcome to YouTube. Yeah. So what did you guys see? Did you guys see? When did it, when did it cut off? <clears throat> Let me know when, they, when did it cut off, so. <laughs> the grabber took samurai guy. <laughs> Let's see. Am I still here? Let me see if you guys hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just got back. Okay. Well, I'm glad you can see me now. So when did, uh, how far did I get in the black phone video before it went black? Man, you guys missed my reaction. I got actually really excited <laughs> with the video. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Uh, when, 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 what part of the video did it cut? How far did I get in with the black phone? Hold on a second. Let me check my emails. All right. It's all right. Just copy. Hold on a second. Let me check one thing, guys. Hold on. All right. So it's not that bad of a slap on the, the hand. This is when the grabber told the kid told the kid salt and the pepper okay that's when i went out okay okay <laughs> to be to be honest i'm actually surprised i got that far because <laughs> that was like four trailers then the black phone video so i'm actually kind of surprised <laughs> but this is what i was trying to say earlier before you guys couldn't see me um, what's really annoying about this, hold on, hold on guys. I'm, I'm on team Bob Odinson here. What's, uh, which sucks about the reaction because I actually, you, you guys missed it, but I actually got really excited at the end. <laughs> so I'm all in now. Once, once it was rated R man, once the movie said it was rated R, it's like Blumhouse didn't play it safe because not all their horror movies are rated R. So once it said radar, I got really excited. I'm all in now. But you missed all that excitement because uh, YouTube uh, did their thing, unfortunately. Uh, what I was trying to say before I I, uh, I was back was um, it's annoying when this happens because, uh, you know, Samurai Guy always plays by the rules. And every time I do a reaction video, I do the picture in picture. So I'm in the video, my logo's in the video and make the video transformative and I react and do commentary. But what's annoying though, 
getting a copyright claim is is annoying, but that's normal. But when YouTube blocks you like that, it's really dumb because it's in the title what the video is. It's in the thumbnail. <laughs> it's in the description what this video is. Every single trailer I'm going to react to and talk about. It is tagged. That's right. It's also tagged. Every single trailer and video I'm going to react to is all there. So it's not, it's not uh, you know, Samurai Guy trying to pull a sneaky one here. So, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to definitely checking out. So I guess moving forward. <laughs> you do remind me <laughs> from the Purge movies. That's right, Heather. Boom. Boom. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but um, I guess moving forward, maybe when we hang out like this, if I want to do a trailer reaction live with you, maybe I'll just do two and see what happens. There's no guarantee, though. But I had fun doing this all last last week. We had a blast, no issues, you know. And I did I did three last week, so I guess five <laughs> was too much. <laughs> uh, oh well, it is what it is. At least I'm here. At least I'm back. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, man, Black Phone, I'm in. Rated R, let's go, Ethan Hawk, let's go, let's do it, man. I am so sold now. See what happens when you see either a better trailer or maybe a little bit of really interesting behind the scenes footage can totally change your, your view on uh, a movie. And now I'm interested, you know, but yeah, no stinkers tonight, except for Samurai guy getting blocked. For <laughs> oh God. Now I get to hang out with you awesome badasses. I get to hang out and talk, have some, have a little bit more fun before our samurai guy's got to run his errands. Uh, let's see here. Are you still worried about the karate montage? Well, now that I know that it's rated R, uh, that means a lot of people are going to get fucked up. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it a chance. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm not as, you know, at it as, you know, let's, I'll, I'll, I'll ease up a little bit. Let's, let's see what happens. So. I could do it that I could do it that way. Some channels do that when they're going, when they're live. The only annoying thing is, is now people, I'll have all these people in the comments going, why aren't you showing the video? <laughs> I didn't cop to come here to see you look at nothing. That happens too sometimes. So, hey, thanks for super chat, brother. Let's see, there are a couple of R rated films that I would love to see. And that is an R rated whole movie and an R rated Teenage Mutant Ninja. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Could you imagine? I'm down. I'm down for a, a serious R rated Godzilla flick. I'm so down for that. And Ninja Turtles. Yeah, sure, for sure. Why not? Uh, what do you mean, Bob? What do you mean? Uh, maybe the little girl in the Montez was a pupil of <laughs> Annie Ray Jr. <laughs> hey, you never know. She might do some crazy shit like the, the movie didn't show us, right? She might be actually skilled. I don't know. 
it just didn't look right when you had such a serious movie like tone it just didn't look right but hopefully it's okay Oh, did they ever suspend your live stream before? Uh, I think they did a long time ago. And I kind of stopped doing... Oh, you know what? When the Matrix regurgitation came out, um, me and uh, Retro Leo, we wanted to do a trailer reaction with you guys live. And we did a live and it blocked. <laughs> no one saw it. We're all talking about it. We're all reacting to it like, oh, this might be cool. I don't know. Hey. And then we got back and everyone's like, where'd they go? <laughs> We're like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, but, you know, sometimes sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's not. But I had so much fun um, last week. Uh, reacting with those trailers with you guys. And I think that maybe the week before I may have done one, another one. So I got, I guess I got greedy. <laughs> Still, I didn't deserve to be blocked, but it's all good. At least I'm back. But I like having fun with you guys and I'm doing everything correctly. So, you know, it just sometimes it's more, it's most likely a bot. I'm, I, I doubt a real human being was watching this live stream. <laughs> and it was just like, all right, fuck it. This is the fifth one. That's it. Uh. Yeah, it's most likely a bot. So, Well, are you guys down for that? I know it's not as entertaining, but I have you here. Are you guys down for live trailer reactions when we hang out and you just see me look at <laughs> let's watch it live but you don't see any footage i mean it's not that fun but are you guys okay with that i got you here so i might as well ask you guys <laughs> seriously seriously it's all good though man at least we got the other ones in Uh, June 19th to June 22nd. They are going to show the original. The, oh, oh, shit. Woo! Man, if that's playing over here, I might have to try to see that in theater for sure. Uh, Heather says she's fine with that. So it'll, little, it'll literally be me like this and going. So if you guys are okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> just let me know in chat right now if you guys are okay with that and i won't play any footage i know it's not as fun but... all right all right severio's okay with it okay if you guys are okay with it then i'll just do that moving forward <laughs> His, his movie review friends are doing it. Okay. I'm just trying to make it entertaining for you guys, but if you guys are okay with that, I'll do it. I'll do it that way. Uh, sex rooms, they might have it playing at the Galaxy Theater. Bro, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's do it. If we can. Oh, my God. That would be so awesome to see in theater. The Thing. I haven't heard any new uh any new news on the the uh other thing movie that's supposed to be coming out at some point. All right, Bob's cool with it. Okay. You know, Bob, it's funny. I saw your comment in my uh my my video uh for the uh Willow trailer reaction. <laughs> And I don't know, I don't know why it just didn't cross my mind, man. But I like, like right after I was done filming, uh, I was just like, where the hell is Burgle Like <laughs> I was just like, oh, they'll have someone like, like pose as the character, like come back or something like that. But uh, like gotta have Burgle Cut up in here. <laughs> oh, MK, what's going on, man? 
Uh, did you hear there's rumors that the MK2 movie will have a new direct? What? Oh, well, I was excited. <laughs> I was excited until the end there, MK. Ooh, new director. Ooh, new right. Oh. <laughs> Well, fingers crossed, man. Hey, hopefully, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully they, uh, heard, you know, what fans weren't really, uh, uh, that, what, what I'm trying to say. Hopefully they hear the, the feedback. Hopefully they good feedback. They hear the feedback, the negative feedback, and they kind of try to adjust and improve and make it better. Right. We want, we want this to be the best sequel ever. Right. Fuck it. So hopefully it's a good movie. And you know, Samurai Guy, man, if this sequel improves, dude, I'm going to come on and be like, yo, the Mortal Kombat 2 was the bomb. So hopefully it's good. Moon Knight director, I'm scared. I mean, a writer, I'm scared, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw your comment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Have somebody else just come in and they put them in the makeup and... uh just to ha just have burgle cut show up just bitch about something and that's it <laughs> and then at the end of the movie while he's walking away you know willow does the wand thing and then you know we got bird droppings on his face like at the end of the, at the end of the show <laughs> no love for galaxy sumo ah well we'll keep our eyes open you know if we can't if we can't see in theater you know it sucks but it's okay Where's Burgo Cut? I don't know what it is about Burgo Cut's laugh in in Willow's face in that in the in the movie. <laughs> it's that one laugh he does. It's so funny. <laughs> and he just walks away. I can't even do it justice. I can't even do it justice. But oh my god. It's so funny. It's so obnoxious and evil. Gotta give him props for that name, though. Burgle Cut. <laughs> I want a death metal band to have the balls to put Burgle Cut in their <laughs> in their band name. In today's generation, today's generation is not gonna know. So they're gonna be like, yo. Yo, did you hear Brandon the Sacrifice's new album? Yo, it was dope. But yo, this underground band's coming up, going on tour. I saw my Not Fest, bro. Dude, remember the name Burgle Cut. Yo, I dare any death metal bands out there watching right now, because <laughs> I'm sure they're I'm sure they're watching. Burgle Cut. Represent the name. It could be something Burgle Cut. Burgle Cut something, or just Burgle Cut. Let's go. <laughs> I have the balls. <laughs> and you play badass and hard. Nobody gives a fuck what your name is, right? So fuck it. <laughs> uh, I did a trailer reaction, MK. Hornswoggle. <laughs> yeah, he could have did it. Hornswoggle could have did it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, not in a Disney movie, Bob. <laughs> I mean, Disney show. <laughs> oh, you know, I still got that GIF in here when we have. Remember, Bob. Uh, Bob's the only burgle cut allowed here because he's cool like that. But you know, those of you that are watching it are new to the channel. You know, burgle cuts are what we call trolls that show up here. <laughs> And I do I still have that GIF here? Hold on, I still might have it, Heather. Yeah, so when trolls show up, boom, bam, they just <laughs> trolls show up, they're ignored and banned. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> there you go, Burgle Cut Apocalypse. Burgle, 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 cut. Burgle, cut, burgle, cut. I'm feeling it. Let's go. 
<laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> and here they are all the way from Toronto. I don't know. No, Florida. Burko cut apocalypse. <sighs> And all the songs, the songs will be all Willow and fantasy related stuff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> John Rice Davies is Burkle Cut. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But John Rice Davies, he has that voice. I don't know. Burgo cuts like just you want to smack him because that actor that actor did such a good job of being just slimy and just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Burgo cut. That's it. Burgo cut apocalypse. Hashtag. Lady Fab Blood over here just dropping kittens, just walking by, just dropping kittens on Samurai Guy live. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> kitty bomb yeah there you go i got kitty bomb <laughs> i'm all trying to react to the trailer and all of a sudden i'm like what what's going on <laughs> so the the stuff's happening in the movie and uh, i'm trying to talk about it <laughs> oh my god so he, he did play Gimli in Lord of the Rings, six feet tall, but movie, movie matching. But he sounds like this. Anything can happen. Yeah. How cool it would have been if, like, Mad Mardigan showed up. That would have been dope, man. I mean, I'm sure Val's doing better and he's not as chunky as he used to be. But if you put that black, if you put him in a black wig, you know how bad that's going to look, right? That's going to be bad. They just put him in a long black wig. It looked like some metal band member from Burkle Cut Apocalypse. Burkle Cut, 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 Burkle Cut. Yo, yo. Yo, let's go. <laughs> oh, what fun. Believe it or not, there's no alcohol in here. Samurai guy's just a crazy guy. You know, me doing my death metal burgle cut up here. I'm stunned Lady Fat Blood hasn't heard it and come up here and smack me in the back of the head. <laughs> the door shut. I'm safe. You better be careful. I might get kitty bombed again. Man, Marty can come back. They can say he is cursed with a witch's spell. No, they're going to do some uh, CGI stuff. They're going to try to make his face young. This is going to CGI his face and try to make it look a little bit young. I mean, he's supposed to be older, so maybe they can make him look a little younger, like a little bit. But I don't know, man. Speaking of Val Kilmer, uh, Top Secret is uh, coming to 4K of all movies. And you know what's hilarious? I never heard of that movie. Never heard of that movie until how many years ago was it? 
maybe 20 years ago <laughs> or 15 years ago. F I'm going to go with 15. 15 years ago, uh, a buddy of mine, uh, oh, shit, look at that Bobby Reynolds certified badass channel member, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Um, which I'm gonna call it. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, and my buddy of mine was like, "Have you seen Top Secret?" And I was like, "What the hell is that?" He was like, "The guys that did the Naked Gun movies made this movie with Val Kilmer before he got popular, and Val Kilmer did all his like, well, of course, his dancing, but he did all his singing. That's really his voice singing in the movie, and he's kind of playing this like." Elvis kind of fifties type singer, but he ends up being, he ends up being like a spy flick. And I was like, I've never heard of this. And, uh, either he let me borrow the DVD. I think that's what happened. He let me borrow the DVD. I watched it with lady fat blood and we were in tears. We were dying, man. And I was like, how the hell did I not hear about top secret? So, uh, I, did I buy, I think I bought it on Blu-ray. I think I have it on Blu-ray, but it's being released in 4K. I was like, what? Oh, my God. They will give him the Luke Skywalker treatment uh, from the Mandalorian. And uh, uh, Bobby, hey, man, this is for you, my friend, for becoming a member. <laughs> That's right, brother. You get the Redford. You got the Redford tonight. That's right. <laughs> Let's see here. Thoughts. What's up, Chase? Thoughts on Stranger Things season four? You know, I, I, I talked about it earlier that I haven't watched it yet. I have not watched it. Let me be good. Lady Fat Blood's in the vicinity. No more singing. Let me get slapped in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm missing. I'm missing singing. <laughs> I feel so left out. This isn't fair. <laughs> but yeah, Chase. Uh, a lot of people are kind of talking me into watching Stranger Things season four. So at some point, I think I'm going to go ahead and catch up with season three, and then. Uh, Go ahead, right into four. So, uh, I have seen Kenobi. We are going to, I haven't posted it yet, but we are going to. Um, uh, Chase says hello, Lady Fablet. Hiya. <laughs> uh, we are going, I can announce it now, but I'll post it tomorrow. So, Saturday at 7 p.m. Seven or six? Uh, seven. All right. 7 p.m. Pacific time, um, Saturday. We're going to kind of do a catch-up review video. We'll be live with you guys hanging out. And the Book of Burgle Cut. Now, there it is. There's the death metal title right there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Um. So uh, we're going to review three movies and hang out with you guys live Saturday. And then after that, we'll chill a little bit. And then we'll briefly talk about our thoughts on Obi-Wan. Because uh, we haven't seen season three, I mean, um, episode three yet. So we'll talk about, you know, I'll give our quick thoughts on uh, episode one to three. Uh, we'll be doing that uh, Saturday. All right. Let's see. But uh, there was a comedy film that you like. Most people don't like or forgotten about it in a year. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hold on a second, guys.
All right, sorry about that. I had to check something. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to talk about pets, Bob. <laughs> I'm petited out. No more, no more pet talk. Oh God. I don't know if you guys hear that. <laughs> this is what happens with Lady Fat Blood left the room. Now the kitten's like freaking out. Oh, the kitten's okay. Kitten's got his own. The kitten's got his own big bin. The kitten's got a Hilton. The kitten will be all right. Uh, we're going to talk about that Saturday, Bob. Yeah, Saturday we are going to talk about <laughs> uh, Rescue Rangers. I know, right? I know. We're going to talk about that Saturday. And then we're going to talk about the Northmen. And then we're going to talk about the Bollywood film RRR. That will be Saturday. And then after that, we'll hang out with you guys and talk about uh, Obi-Wan. We will do that Saturday. Let's see. Um, a comedy movie that I like but everybody forgot about. Hmm. Thinking here. Sumo, don't be chiming in saying, this guy doesn't watch comedies. <laughs> you don't know what that, you don't know what the Redford's from, Sumo? Come on, man, Jeremiah Johnson. Great movie. Man, I can't think right now, Severio. I, actually, my mind is blank. I can't think right now. Like action movies, boom. I got one. Martial arts, I got one. Horror, I got one. But comedy, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe Sexy Sumo is right. I don't watch comedies. There's one in my head, but I'm too embarrassed to talk about it. <laughs> because I know it's bad. I know it's bad. I know it's not good. So I can't talk about it and, you know, to defend it. Because I can't defend it because it's bad. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Um, fear of a black hat is fucking hilarious. Another comedy. You might be able to watch it on Amazon Prime. Another uh, comedy. Never, I never knew it existed. Buddy told me about it. And it's basically, imagine Spinal Tap, where it's a fake band documentary. and But just 90s hip-hop, son early 90s hip-hop group and it is hilarious because all the music videos that they parody around that time like snoop dogg and like it's hilarious it's like not just the music videos that they parody are, are funny the movie's actually funny too but it's called fear of a black hat it is hilarious <laughs> no one knows that movie exists but yeah i highly recommend fear of a black hat Hey, Samuel knows. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. I'm stunned. Speaking of Jenna, speaking of Jenna Ortega, she's everywhere. Jenna Ortega, uh, what's her name? My, my mind is not working tonight. Chloe Grace Moretz needs to hire Jenna Ortega's uh, <laughs> agent. Jenna Ortega is everywhere. There's a new trailer that just came out today called um I didn't chance, I didn't do a reaction video to it, but I already watched it, so it'd be fake if I do it now. Um what is it called? American Carnage? Hold on. It just dropped today. I don't know if you guys seen it. Yeah, American Carnage. She's in that. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like a horror movie. She's in that. I've been wanting to watch Studio 666 in a long time because I heard that was hilarious and a lot of fun. She's in that. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. Jenna Ortega is everywhere. She, for some reason in American Carnage, she looks younger um than in like uh like Scream. She looks younger. So I don't know, maybe American Carnage maybe was an older flick. 
maybe they made it earlier, maybe a couple of years ago, and then now it's just now coming out. I don't know, but she looks like really super young in this one. Uh, but yeah, Jenna Ortega is everywhere. I have not watched X yet, but I'm I might rent it because it's available to rent now. I might rent it. I might rent it. We'll see. Maybe Saturday or Friday. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I've been wanting to see X forever. So CB4, that's funny. And uh, don't be menacing yourself since you're drinking your juice in the hood. That's a hilarious one. I think people forgot about that one too. Uh, Lady Fatblood has not seen Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon yet. I have not shown it to her yet because I want to uh, buy it on 4K and then show it to her. Uh, that way she, you know, she's amazed. I reviewed the sequel uh, a long time ago and uh, there's some parts of it that I like, but overall it just felt like a big waste of time. Let's see. Uh, Severus says, mine is Land of the Lost, Will Ferrell, in Georgia, the Jungle. Yeah, I think people have forgotten about that one. Uh, what's up, Marley? Uh, I have not seen this. Uh, OGP uh, recommended this to me. So maybe at some point I'll check it out. Jenna, Jenna Ortega is the new Jennifer Lawrence, <laughs> where she was in everything for a while. It's just interesting, though, because it's all horror. So I guess, I don't know how old she is. <laughs> I don't know how old she is. So can she qualify as a scream queen now? I guess. I guess you don't have to be old. I guess you could be a teen. But I mean, that's, let's, let's think about it. Scream was the first time I saw her. X, I didn't even know she was in that until I did the trailer reaction with uh, Alex Chung, martial artist and stuntman, badass. Um. And uh, he's looking forward. He loves her scream. He's like, that scream, bro. That's scream queen material. So I was like, ah, oh, we got to see X at some point. Yeah, and then she was, showed up in Studio 66, and now this movie, American Carnage. So that's four horror movies already in the same goddamn year, guys. Think about that. Four horror movies in the same year that she's in. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Reza has a Tubi recommendation. Strega? It's Super Sentai movie meets Benny Hill. What? What the hell? Uh, keep that in mind when, when I bring back the, the B-movie review challenge. What's going on, Sean? How you doing, man? She's 19. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I guess she qualifies, I guess. She looks really young in American Carnage. Unless she's like 19 in that one, but but yeah, four horror movies. We ha we just now reached June. Happy June, by the way. And she's got four horror movies already. Kid Cootie doesn't compare it to Mark Wahlberg and Boogie Nights. <laughs> Dick Diggler rules. You know, when, when you guys brought this up to me last week, I thought it was, I thought you guys were like joking. <laughs> and then I started seeing posts of this Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh horror movie coming. Cause I guess it went back to uh public domain, I guess. So you could do whatever you want with the characters, I guess. And um, they better have some kind of death metal theme version of that song or something, man. They got to they got to put a song in there. <laughs> you know, we got to do that. Now, played uh, by uh, <laughs> Burgle Cut Apocalypse. I forgot the other title, the other the other band name. Uh, but yeah, we out of principle, out of principle, we have to. We have to watch this. We have to review it. Even if it sucks, we gotta review it. (laughs) 
Winnie the Pooh is the new Jason. <laughs> Piglet is that Winnie the Pooh horror movie looks like Bebop. I got to look at screenshots. I, I haven't really in like looked into the movie. I just seen like thumbnails. But if Piglet like huge, <laughs> is, so is it like Piglet and Winnie the Pooh are like best friends? But oh, sorry, it's a fly. They're like like tag teaming, killing folks. Is that what's going on? World War Burgle Cut. <laughs> Mickey Mouse horror movie directed by the <laughs> sadness director. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he'll do it. Could you imagine? Oh my God. Could you imagine? Oh my God. Disney would sue. Disney would sue <laughs> the pants. Out of someone making a Mickey Mouse horror movie. You know, I saw reviews of The Happening. I've seen enough reviews of The Happening um, to know I won't like The Happening, but to laugh at The Happening. <laughs> like the hot dog guy coming out of nowhere saying, I, I, I love hot dogs. And it didn't, the scene made, it didn't go anywhere. Like he just came out of nowhere. <laughs> and no, ma'am, no, no. You know, Mark Wahlberg's amazing acting. Uh, but yeah, I can see a lot of people liking the happening for like good, bad, right? Battlefield Earth. I don't know if I told you guys this before, but um, Battlefield Earth, I saw in theater. I paid money to go see <laughs> Battlefield Earth. Because back then, you know, we didn't really have internet. And <laughs> or we did have internet. Samurai guy didn't use it that much but it was one of those back then man you're bored and nothing going on that happened all the time you know you didn't look up trailers you didn't look up reviews you know like everybody does now and it happened a lot hey let's go to a movie whatever's there fuck it let's go and me and my buddy went to go see battlefield earth and all i can tell you is we're watching the movie right like my buddy's sitting over here and we're watching the movie and i think about half an hour in i turn like this like i'm sitting here like oh my god what have we done right i turn like this and my buddy is laid out on like the four seats sleep <laughs> he just stretched all the way out because there was like nobody in the theater there was like maybe three other people in the theater and he stretched completely out like, and I, you know, I, wo I woke that motherfucker up. I was like, nah, man, nah. If I got to sit here and watch this, you're not cheating. Get up. <laughs> when you want, when I look at Battlefield Earth now, it's fucking hilarious. It's so bad. It's, it's hilarious, man. Travolta's over the top acting. Forrest Whitaker. Look, Forrest Whitaker. Look, if you want to see an actor who, who's like, what the fuck am I doing here? Look at what, watch Forrest Whitaker in Battlefield Earth. Just watch him. It's fucking hilarious now. But at the time, <laughs> I was like, oh, some sci-fi action movie. <laughs> oh, John Travolta's in it. All right. <laughs> oh, man, we were not we were not ready. Uh, Mickey Mouse is in public. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's go. Mickey Mouse horror movie. Let's do it. <laughs> You remember the one time they thought about doing a Humpty Dumpty horror movie? Isn't there a Humpty Dumpty horror movie? I thought, I don't know why I, th I feel like there was one for some reason. I have not, no, I want to see Studio 66, Rez. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, MK, we did Battleship Is It Really That Bad episode. And it was so long ago. If it's not here on this channel, then you got to go to Mr. Tony of the Dead's channel. We may have reviewed it on his channel. Uh, but yeah. 
I mean, incom- it's it's bad, but there's some entertaining moments for sure. But in comparison, I mean, I'd rather watch Battleship over Battlefield Earth. At least I can get through it. At least it has some interesting, you know, visuals. Uh, we are, we are, Bob. Uh, the Cranky Critic. I believe this is like early days of Fat Samurai Guy channel, like way back in the day, early days. Me and the Cranky Critic and Lady Fabled reviewed all the Jurassic Park movies, and we reviewed uh, what you call it, this new breed. We reviewed all the first two, so we got to review this one. <laughs> we got to do it. So you paid money on a Battlefield Earth on coverage Blu-ray. Did you sell it, Chase? Or are you going to keep it just to? You know what? I don't know. Some movies, they're they're horrible. But if you bought it, I don't know. Like maybe keep it to sh- to show that it, this exists. Like you have proof. <laughs> you know, kind of fuck with your friends and like hey, tell me the worst movie you ever seen, and they'll probably say something recent and something not really that bad. And be like, you don't know bad until you just bust it out. Battlefield. <laughs> Sit down, shut up, and watch, and then tell me about you know you know about bad movies. Let's see. What's worse, Vikings versus... Oh, Vikings versus Krampus. Vikings versus Krampus is... I don't remember laughing. (laughs) Battlefield Earth, I can kind of laugh at the ridiculousness of Travolta acting all over the top, but... Vikings versus Krampus, yikes. (laughs) You want to see the E.T. versus Batman movie? (laughs) How did they, how did they pull this off by the way because it's a Disney product. The Disney owns Marvel. So how did they get a how did they get a Batman reference? I wonder how that happened. Interesting. <coughs> In uh the Chippendale movie. All right, Jake's hyped for uh Dominion. I just want Carnage. I just want to see this is the only thing I want because I'm not really invested the first one, it was fine. It was entertaining, I guess. The, I mean, the, the end finale throwdown fight was dope. That was that saved the movie for me. The second movie, the only thing that popped out to me was Bryce's ass, and I was like, "Wow, that's impressive." Uh, other than that, I didn't really like the movie. <laughs> but this one, we're there for the old fogies. This old fogies there for the old fogies. And like I said, Sam Neill, he's such a great actor. I can watch Sam Neill react to anything and I'll show up to watch, you know. He hears the kitten, he hears gravy over here, and he just he does that Sam Neill. <laughs> that Sam Neill look. It's like, "Oh shit, what is he looking at? What is he looking at?" Oh. <laughs> But yeah, as long as there's you know a lot of action and they don't do the uh, the old people dirty, uh, sure we'll be there. I ha- I have a feeling by default this third movie's better will be the second better than the second film of this new uh, breed. So, all right, Bob's gonna go see it. Okay, Robo Vampire. <laughs> Disney gets the rights to Batman and another DC heroes, which could mean we just, oh I don't know you never know. <laughs> just uh <laughs> don't watch the movie chase just look up my review for it that's all you'll need to see oh shit dwight doolittle the second just became certified badass channel member that's right thank you brother that's right welcome to the fold we on fire tonight man we on fire tonight and dwight gets the motherfucking red <laughs> Dwight in the house. Oh, yeah. Dwight in the house. Oh, yeah. I saw the first Jurassic Park in the theater. It was awesome experience. I miss when McDonald's Soul Collector's Cup. Yeah, seeing the first Jurassic Park in the theater. I don't know. I, I, this, this idea 
has bounced around in my head on doing a video on in the future. I've always been back and forth on it, but it's kind of like movie theater experiences, like mo like seeing movies, the movies that I've saw in theater and it emotionally uh, did something to me when I left the theater or I was just in awe of what I saw and doing a list of all those movies. I might do a video like that. We'll see. But Jurassic Park is one of them because you got to remember, man. Let me look, you know, you guys know I enjoyed Doctor Strange. Thought it was fun, right? But look at all the TV spots and and trailers that came out for Doctor Strange. It's like overkill, overload, leave some mystery, you know? Even Kevin Feige was like, what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> right? When Jurassic Park came out in 1993, I barely saw anything. All I remember to this day, I'll never forget it. I remember turning the channel on the TV and all I saw, it was like five seconds. And all I saw was something that kind of looked like a dinosaur chase a Jeep really quick. The screen went black and the logo came up and I was like, what the hell was that? You know what I mean? And it's a, it's a commercial, so I couldn't, like, rewind <laughs> or do anything. That's all I saw. So when the movie came out, everyone was like, you got to go see Jurassic Park. You got to see Jurassic Park. And I was like, all right. So me and the family went to go see it. And I was, I, I was not ready for that special effects explosion and movie-going experience, especially with the sound. Because remember, the sound for movie theaters changed, too. Sound was a big deal. Uh, around that time when Jurassic Park came out. So, yeah. Yeah, that's an experience I won't forget. Bobby, thanks for Super Chat, brother. One day you and I can do a Robo Vampire versus K-12 <laughs> with Melanie Martinez. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> I think Robo Vampire is on uh, Tubi. Yeah, yeah. When I bring back the, the B-Movie Reviews challenge, man, you got to submit your review, and I'll play it here live of uh, Robo Vampire. I'll, I'll explain how to do all that once I, once I bring that back. Just taking a break from that, so. Uh, Severio is currently doing a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Marathon. There you go. All right. All right. Getting in the mood. Yeah. Man, that fly just won't go away. <laughs> Damn you, fly. It's like that new Mr. Bean series coming out from Netflix. What was it? Me versus the bee or some shit? <laughs> but yeah, that I might do a video like that in the future. This might, this might, this might be the one too. I'm itching to. I'm itching to see this because I believe it or not, Samurai Guy's only seen a few clips. I've never seen the movie. So I think that might be on Tubi also. Uh, if aliens came to my house, what would I do? Have them come in, man. Let's watch a movie. Let's order some pizza or something. <laughs> Because at that point, it's like, I mean, they have all the technology. Like, what am I going to do, right? Can't call the cops. <laughs> hey, come on in. Yeah. Paul, E.T., hey, come on in. Yeah. I got some beers in the fridge. Yeah, just pop a squat, watch some movies. <laughs> and if they say they want to watch Battlefield Earth, well, then I'll have to kill them. Been a, I think it's been a while since we almost been got, did two hours tonight. Unless I did two hours last week. I think I cut it short. 
There you go. That's what I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> what if they fart back, Bob? What if that's how they communicate, Bob? <laughs> Did any of you guys like that movie, Paul? I thought it was fun. I mean, it's not as good as their their you know their the other three movies. I know Paul was a different director, but I thought it was a fun flick. But don't forget the M and M's for ET. <laughs> Phone home. You know, why do I have the feeling? Check out Paul, man. It's a fun little sci-fi comedy, but it's got Simon Pegg and uh, Nick Frost from uh, Hot Fuzz in there. Um, Let's see. Oh, they banned? What? I don't remember Paul being rated R, though. Was Paul rated R? That's weird. Oh, I, I talked about this like 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, that's my response. Uh, it'll never replace the original. I mean, fingers crossed, hopefully it's fun. The, the, the long debate, though, with the Big Trouble in Little China remake is should it be a remake or a reboot or should it be another movie in the universe? I think a lot of fans are leaning towards, uh, they don't want to reboot. I don't think they want to remake. I think a lot of fans were kind of leaning towards another movie that's just based in that universe. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm in here in this too. I just, it sucks. It's like I don't have, have the time right now to sneak away. I want to see it for sure. And what's awesome about uh, Maverick, what I'm hearing, is they said the movie's so good that even if you're not a fan, of the original Top Gun, or you were kind of meh on the original Top Gun, you will like the movie. That's how good it is. That's what I'm hearing. I'm like, whoa, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, Paul's fun, man. Check that out. You'll you'll enjoy that one. The unofficial, <laughs> the unofficial. What is the director of uh, Hot Fuzz, guys? Help me out here. My brain is just not working tonight. Well, they call it the Corn- the Cornetto Trilogy, right? It's like Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and then At World's End. So it's like the unofficial uh, <laughs> movie because it doesn't have the same director, but it's got the two two uh, guys. No. Uh, number one, Samurai Guy's too damn big to be, <laughs> to be in the jet. So I couldn't fly a jet if I wanted to. Maybe I'll play some Ace Combat. There you go. That'll be the closest. Simon Section. What's going on, brother? Thanks for the super chat. What up, fat samurai guy? I'm not going to lie. When I first saw the thumbnail for the 3,000 years of longing, which featured Big Driss, I thought it was a prequel to 12 Years of Slime. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Edgar Wright. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, it's like the unofficial Edgar Wright movie. Speaking of she's everywhere. What do you guys think of Anya? She was in Edgar Wright's movie, a uh, horror thriller that came out last year, which we really enjoyed. I don't think she's there yet because she's such a good actress. 
I don't think she's there yet to where she's everywhere, but people are like, oh my God, I'm fucking tired of seeing her everywhere. I don't think she's reached that yet. I think she's safe. Because she does a lot of big movies, but then you can see her do a lot of like indie stuff, you know, kind of keeping her grounded. I think maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why. I mean, I don't know. Some of you might be tired of seeing her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I just don't get that vibe yet. Not yet. Not yet. I don't think people are tired of seeing her yet. But yeah, she is everywhere. How about a jumbo jet? <laughs> I don't know, man. Samurai guy is not the greatest with heights, so that might not work out. <laughs> All I'll, speaking of Anya, all I'll say, I will not, I will not spoil our review of the Northman Saturday. Okay. Um, all I'll say is don't be angry. <laughs> don't be angry with the results. All right. We're family here, okay? We all, Even if we agree to disagree, that happens, and we're still best friends, and we move on. Don't be angry. <laughs> Look at you guys right now. I can already tell. Oh, shit. We got to watch now. We got to watch Saturday. Yeah, so don't, don't forget Saturday, guys. Six, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. You'll see it posted tomorrow. We're doing a movie review catch-up. So, And then we'll talk about Obi-Wan as well. <laughs> Oh man, this is, you know, it's, it's funny because, uh, at world's ends entertaining, but, uh, something fell off about it. I don't know why it's entertaining. I really like it, but something's, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was the ending. Something felt weird, but I still enjoyed the movie. Um, let's see. Uh, Shaun of the dead was my favorite for a long time. Um, but the more I've been watching Hot Fuzz, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> like, it's Sharon's Shaun of the Dead, and Hot Fuzz was always here. I always enjoyed Hot Fuzz, but it's always here. And then the more you watch it, the more you start noticing things, and the more it gets, for me, for me, everybody's different, the more it get, got better. Like, I remember when we saw Hot Fuzz in the theater, our, our expectations were so high because of Shaun of the Dead that when we got done seeing it, we 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 liked it, but we didn't love it. And then when we started watching it on Blu-ray several times, it grew on us to now we love Hot Fuzz now. Even the great Timothy Dalton himself said, in the history of all the movies he's been in, he never had so much fun being an actor or playing a role that he did in Hot Fuzz. <laughs> so, I mean, it just, it, it's just, it's growing. So I don't, I don't really know right now, to be honest, if I had to choose right now, but Hot Fuzz is catching up. Let's see here. Hold on. Let me. Uh... <laughs> oh, man. Ever watch Event Horizon? I never saw it. Heard mixed things. Some say it sucks. Some say it's underrated. Well, if you trust Samurai Guy, I've been wanting to do a video on it for a long time, and I still might uh, do one. Well, you might be disappointed too, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> but I just wanted to give a a, 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 a warning. Hey, don't be too mad. Uh, but um, MK, Event Horizon is so, it is underrated in my opinion. It's so good that people don't even recognize it as a Paul ws anderson movie when 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 people mention that yeah paul wss ws anderson the director of the resident evil movies and three musketeers <laughs> um people are like what the fuck are you talking about that guy did this movie so there you go that should that should be a, enough proof 
to where uh of how good the movie is <laughs> because people are like how how did he do this yeah so there you go that's all you need to know but it's very well done if you're in if you're into sci-fi horror if you like sci-fi horror you're you're good you're good to go so Uh, I'd like to, uh, I would like to rent. I think Sonic 2 is available to rent now. I might rent it, Chase. Maybe we can uh, review that too. It's funny, man, because when Paul W.S. Anderson first came out, I was a fan. You know, I, I looked at him as this guy's a very entertaining genre uh you know genre filmmaker like he's a very entertaining like b-movie guy ac action guy and i was a fan i like the i used to defend paul ws ws anderson because think about it his debut was mortal kombat right and you got mortal kombat so i enjoyed that right and then he did um event horizon and then another movie i think is underrated it's not perfect but uh it's a kick-ass action flick. And he did Soldier with Kurt Russell. Yeah, that's another movie that people are like, Paul W.S. Anderson did that? <laughs> um, but, uh, and then he did Resident Evil, the first Resident Evil. I think up at that point, I was a Paul W.S. Anderson fan. I, I enjoyed his smaller uh, films, and I thought they were very entertaining. You know, entertaining action flicks, popcorn munchers, you know. I can't say that now, <laughs> but now it's like, Ew. but, uh, yeah, I used to be a, a, I used to be a defender back in the day. <laughs> I dug the white hair too, Bob. You're, you're, we're good. We're good, man. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's four really fun, entertaining genre movies. Mortal Kombat, Event Horizon, Soldier, and then Resident Evil. Not perfect. Not A pluses. Event Horizon, though, I still say that's his best work. That that's his best work. And it makes you wonder, did he not have full control <laughs> it makes you wonder whether was there studio interference but in a good way for a change and they came in and kind of took over or maybe somebody else maybe he didn't write the script i don't know man i don't know i i enjoy mila um as an as an action uh person as an action actress I, I i don't have any issues with her shooting guns and kicking ass and she, i feel like she's just kind of been stereotyped like that's her that's it that's all she could play i i, I wouldn't be surprised if she could do some comedy and some other type of uh roles but but you know let's be honest majority of her, her work is you know she's like the action person and by default, I guess she's like the best here in America, which is kind of sad. <laughs> you know, by default, ew. like an actress known to just do action films mostly. Uh, but there's just y'all know there's so much better out there. You know, Michelle Yeoh. I don't know. I don't know where she is in age. But she's still, there's not, there's, you know, there's levels to this, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I like uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Thoughts on Whoopi Goldberg, 1998 film, The Telephone. I don't think I've seen that one. But yeah, Lady Fat Blood, uh, I know she was watching Burglar. She was watching some other Goldberg movies.
Simon, thanks for the super chat, man. Did you know that Soldier was set in the same universe as Blade Runner? <laughs> do you think they might do a spinoff streaming series of Soldier? No. Um, I did hear about the Blade Runner uh, rumor. Uh, no, because I think that movie bombed. I think it bombed hard. And unfortunately, it had to have been studio interference. Because if you watch the trailer for Soldier and then watch the movie, you're going to be like, wait a minute, where the fuck was... There's a whole bunch of stuff in that trailer, not in the movie. They show like a big space battle with all these ships firing on each other. Never happened. There's a scene where... uh, I don't know if it was Kurt Russell or one of the bad guys shooting a, a, a rocket launcher, like bazooka type thing, and the camera angle follows the 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 missile, and you get this really cool camera angle shot following the missile before it hits its target, not in the movie. There's all kinds, there's things like that in the trailer, and you're like, where the fuck was that in the movie? So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if we're not going to get an extended version, or yeah, I, only samurai guy remembers Soldier, <laughs> which I did see in the theater. But soldiers Rambo in space. That's all soldier is, and Jason Scott Lee is uh, is great in it, and Kurt Russell. How do you how do you how, Kurt Russell's such a good actor? How do you outact everyone you're around and you don't talk? <laughs> it's it's impressive. Not speaking a word, but his face reaction and emotions he brings to his face, you you feel for the character. It's it's pretty it's pretty fascinating. But Kurt Russell's jacked. Soldier's got to be the biggest he was. He, like, worked out for that part, man. Let's see. Do you think Big Driss can pull off a good James Bond? Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is, like, the first thing you think is, well, he's he's considered Hollywood old, right? So they wouldn't cast him. They probably want somebody younger because they want a new franchise, right, to build. Uh, but then I'm pretty sure Roger Moore was kind of up there when they casted him back in the day uh, for Live and Let Die. I wouldn't be against it, to be honest. I wouldn't be against it, but you know Hollywood is, man. They, they, you know, we got to get some young cat because we want to make another 25 movies. <laughs> I did hear about uh, something like this. Be interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Fifth Element, I really enjoyed that. And she's great in that. Multipass. But what's she doing in that movie? She's fighting. She's, she's action person. You know? But she was good in that movie for sure. <laughs> Devil Doll 1964. <sighs> that sounds really familiar. I think I saw the Mystery Science Theater episode where they did that one, where they riffed that one. I think I did see that one because <laughs> that sounds familiar. Hey, man. With your talents, you could probably make a cool little like horror movie short, MK. Yeah, make a little horror movie short or something and uh, put it on your channel. <clears throat> I think I know why the Nick Nolte juice is not working tonight. <laughs> My throat is like God. This isn't water. It's an energy drink. I think that's why it's not working. I'll have to do water next time. How about Henry Cavill as Bond? He's already Superman in the Witcher Sherlock Holmes. And I'm sure someone would re- uh, reboot Batman with him. I want to see him as Lionel. Uh, that was like a, a fan pick there. Um. Well... I don't think that's a horrible choice. The problem is, is I don't think it's going to happen because he kind of played a spy, a suave, good-looking spy already in that movie that heard, I, I think it bombed. 
Was that a Paul W.S. Anderson movie? The Man from Uncle. Who directed that, guys? The Man from Uncle. Thanks uh, for the super chat. Screw Justice Lee Snyder. <laughs> Bobby is not a fan. Let's see. Um, but yeah, if you guys find out who directed, that'll be hilarious if that was Paul W. Anderson. <laughs> I don't think that's no, you know what? That's Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie did the Man from Uncle movie. So he kind of played that character already. Um and Army Hammer was Army Hammer was like the muscle, like the foreign muscle, and and Cavill was like the suave spy uh, in that. And I thought I thought that movie was entertaining. I thought it was fine. Um, but uh Um, which I'm gonna call it. Uh, yeah, I heard it didn't do well because I think they were thinking franchise. And if you if you look at that end of that movie, they were really setting up for a sequel. And I actually wouldn't have minded a sequel to be honest. I thought it was fine. Cavill could pop- probably play lead in Mission Impossible movie by the time. <laughs> Well, you know he was already in one, right? He was in Mission Impossible Fallout. You know he was in that, right? Oh man. Man, I'm in I'm I'm in chill mode right now. See, I might go for a little bit longer and I might have to wrap it up. But I have too much fun hanging out with the badasses. Yeah, I think that was, uh, I'm pretty sure that was Mystery Science Theater. Let's see if they did a He Man live remake. Who would who would be a great He-Man? You know what's funny? Chris Hemsworth is so buff in the <laughs> in the most recent Thor movie trailer. He's so big that when I showed Lady Fabblood the trailer, you know, after I did the reaction, I showed her and um, the trailer, and uh, <laughs> he strip him down when Zeus strips him down, and he's just like. Bruh. She was like, I didn't know they could make, you know, 80s action <laughs> He-Man toy bodies. <laughs> he looked like a He-Man toy. Just no neck. Just. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so huge. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, can't, I don't know why. I feel like we would have to go with a no name. I mean, hopefully somebody doesn't. that's not horrible at acting. You know, um, at least has some kind of charisma, right? But um, I think you'd have to go with some no name. Because all the popular actors right now are probably up there in age. And no one's that fucking huge. I guess somebody could get that huge, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. And it depends on what they're doing, too. Are they going the whole Prince Adam route where it's like a totally different guy? You know, and then he transforms into He-Man, which could be a totally different actor. You know, are they going to do that? Are they going to keep the same dude and CGI him? You know, kind of like Captain America, First Avenger. (laughs) He's Prince Adam, but he's all small. (laughs) I mean, I don't know. It depends on, it'd be interesting to see what they do. But the way things are going right now, man, it's just like, a He-Man movie now, it's just like, how long has this been a production disaster? Every time you hear like, hey, the, the He-Man movie might be coming and we got this actor to play. And then the actor like leaves the project. It just sounds like a, a disaster. So I don't know. Who knows if we'll ever see a live action He-Man, which is sad uh, because it, with the special effects now, it could easily be done. There'd be no issues. Kurt Russell's best role was Jack Burton fight. I mean, now, damn it. <laughs> hey. It's iconic, man. It's iconic. 
I am not going to, I'm not going to say no to that. The aging Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Terminator Genesis, Terminator woke fate. Oh, now this could work. The, oh, Bob's on it. This could work. Cause this guy's huge. He's huge. And, um, <clears throat> He's a solid actor on Reacher, but he's huge and he can move. This could work. But again, how are we doing the whole Prince Adam thing? Are we just giving rid of, are we getting rid of Prince Adam? Are we just going to have He-Man walking around? Like, it depends on what Hollywood wants to do, right? Oh, Bobby, I agree with Bobby. Like, we've been wanting Dread 2 since the first Dread came out. <laughs> And I, you know, I've always heard about those rumors of there might be a, a TV series, you know, and it's just like, what happened? What happened? Damn it. It's hard, especially for Hollywood. It's hard to, you know, be confident in spending millions of dollars on a property that bombed, right? It's very hard to do because think about it. We have two Judge, Judge Dredd movies that bombed. One in the 90s bombed with Stallone, and the one with Carl Urban, unfor unfortunately, bombed too. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of hard for them to pull the pull the trigger and be like, hey, let's, and, you know, hey, two previous properties tanked. No one gives a shit. No one likes them. <laughs> All right. That's million dollars. Here you go. Boom. Make a TV show for Netflix. It's kind of hard. I'm all for it. I think a series would be great, you know. I, I'm the the last thing I heard was um, there was going to be a TV show, but it was going to be about the judges uh, that were there, were following this group of judges on their day to day lives and stuff like that. And Dread would once in a while show up, be badass, make his presence known, maybe train the new judges, something like that but we wouldn't see him all the time at this point. I would take that. I mean, obviously we want, we would love a dread series where he's in every episode, but um, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I think that kind of works. Uh, Joel Kinnaman as he man. Hey, he could, uh, that guy could get huge. I mean, if, if what you call scars guard can get fucking huge for the North man, I'm sure Joel could get big too. It's not terrible. I'm sure he can get huge. I do too. I do too, MK. I do too. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I like that. If you guys haven't seen Reacher, it's worth it. I'm telling you. It is worth it's very well done. I can't wait for season two. Oh, thanks for Super Chat, man. Uh, I think Henry Cavill is doing a spy thriller called Argyle, directed by Matthew Vaughn, based on a novel starring John, Sam Jackson, and Sam Rockwell. Really? All right. Let's go. Matthew Vaughn, he can, that guy knows how to shoot action. He's a talented director. Uh, his films are hit or miss, but he's he's overall very talented. But uh, great cast right there. All right. Thanks for letting me know that, Simon. I did not know that. Oh, God. Dude, they would. They would, MK. <laughs> they would, man. They would. They would. Yep. You'd be seeing Carl Urban every day just walking around. <laughs> John Cena. You want John Cena as uh as He Man? <laughs> that might persuade Hollywood to do it. That might persuade them, because Cena's he's a lot more popular than the Reacher guy. If he wanted to be He Man, they might they might like all right, let's take this project seriously, put in money into it. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, man. Even though I'm a fan of John Cena now because of Peacemaker, really, and that's it. 
I don't know as he man. I don't know because I just see John Cena, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens to that. <clears throat> Let's see. Whatever we pick as He Man, Hollywood will eventually cast The Rock. <laughs> yeah, it'd be The Rock. It would be The Rock. Gray Skull is family. <laughs> Gray Skull is family. Uh, yeah, I do uh, enjoy the movie Hook. I enjoyed seeing that in theater um john williams made one of the best movie scores in his career and i feel i don't know why everyone's different right there's people out there that don't like the movie and that's fine but i don't know why hook is considered the spielberg stinker like there's there's people out there that they they really think that spielberg like just tanked like it just didn't work for them like the critics hated it when it came out financially i don't know if it i think it probably did fine i don't think it bombed but i'm not positive on that to be honest but um i feel like i feel like it's an underrated movie i really do i feel like i mean there's other spielberg movies out there that people consider bombs and those get more attention and respect than hook I don't know why. <laughs> it's weird. Hook's a fun adventure movie. It's very, it's strange why Hook just falls underneath. It's just like swept away. Shh. It didn't happen. Shh. Get the broom. You got the broom out. Sweep that motherfucker out. <laughs> it's like, it's weird. It's very weird. Maybe it did bomb, Chase. You might be right. Um, yeah, it's got a lot. Of, there's a lot of fans for it, definitely. <clears throat> you know, when I saw the trailer, I'm not in the, the, the whole Halo lore. Like, I've, I've only played, like, I beat the first game. <laughs> and I played some of the second game. But, that, you know, I'm not really in the Halo lore. Because I've had original Xbox, and then I went straight to PS3. I didn't get a 360, so... Sexy Sumo knows all about Halo, I think. I think he's down. Or is, I think Sexy Sumo is more of a Gears of War guy. Uh, but um, even me, uh, a, a casual to the Halo lore, when I saw the first trailer that came out, I was like, this looks kind of fucking cool. Like, the, the trailer. I was like, dude, this looks legit. Like, the visuals and everything. Like, I was like, wow. And then I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Angry Joe's videos kept getting blocked by CBS. That's so embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. When uh, uh, Speaking of somebody that got blocked, um, when someone just does an honest review, it's just a review, and they just didn't like your product, and you block their video worldwide. It's it's embarrassing for a studio to do that, but every Angry Joe video <laughs> got blocked. He had to go back and re-edit it and re-upload it. It's so bad that you, you, the studios have to resort to that. It's just sad. It's like Angry Joe has a large following, but he's not like, I rule the world and whatever I say is law. And if I say your product sucks, then everyone in the entire world will agree with me. <laughs> you know, but it is what it is. But man, I've seen some other reviews besides Angry Joe where they just like, they were like, what the fuck happened? That was that was the review of Halo. What the fuck happened? Like there were some episodes that were okay and some of the action battles were good, but overall it was just very inconsistent. So yeah, I think 1941 uh gets more respect than hook <laughs> and this was a big bomb this was a huge bomb there's some fans for 1941 the cast is great the cast in that movie is like amazing your head's gonna explode it was like what but uh yeah 1941 more respect than hook it's weird Let's see. I mean, they still broke the that rule. But yeah, Halo did it way worse. Oh, my God. Uh, 
there's so much to like about it. The visuals, the visuals for that time are really good. The set designs, like Chase is saying here, were great. Come on. It's it's hard to not enjoy Dustin Hoffman as Hook. It's kind of impossible because he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and don't forget about Shmee, the great, you know, Bob Hoskins, man. He's great. You know, and Ron Williams was great. You know, it's just, I don't know, man. It just just swept away. It never happened. All I remember was I was in the theater and the crowd was dying laughing. It was a it was a packed theater. The crowd was in tears laughing, cheering at the end. Everybody and and pretty ballsy, if you think about it, pretty ballsy to do a Peter Pan. Well, the first thing when you say Peter Pan, that's the first thing you think about is Disney, right? You just think of Disney for some reason, even though there's all kinds of movies and properties of Peter Pan out there. Um, but how ballsy was it in the nineties to kill one of the main kid characters and he doesn't magically come back to life at the end? Like what you call it doesn't go over to him and give him some magical pixie dust that brings Rufio back to life. No, Rufio gets stabbed in the chest and dies. <laughs> like that's really ballsy maybe that's maybe maybe that people don't like that they want a happy ending you know i don't know but that's ballsy man looky looky i got a hooky stabbed right in the chest dead you know and everyone had that like i think i talked about this with retro leo on his on his channel and everybody like you know he's a father so uh he was just like dude when those last words then he says i wish i had a dad just like you and then he dies stays dead in a movie like this that's supposed to be for kids that's really ballsy and Robin williams look on his face when he switches and he has this look on his face like i'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> like <laughs> i don't know man i don't know people were ready for that you know and then you have their swashbuckling fun and all that stuff you know uh but yeah that's pretty ballsy. That's something you would never see now. And you know, if it was like a Disney movie now with kids in it, you're not going to see that now. That's why you're not going to see a movie like monster squad. Now, not going to happen. Not going to happen. You're not going to see little kids curse. You're not going to see kids shooting shotguns at werewolves, putting dynamite and, <laughs> on creatures and blowing them up. You're not going to see that now. You know, it's a, it's a different era now, unfortunately, but. There you go. When you think of Peter Pan, you think of Hook. But that John Williams score is like, like he really outdid himself. Bobby, what's your thoughts on this one? Movie Bad Bad Boy Bubby? I don't think I've seen that one. Let me look it up real quick. Bad Boy Bubby. No, I have not seen this. Now I'm interested now. Let me look this up. Twisted and Hilarious. Imagine being there directed by David Lynch. Don't pass this up. All right. He's been in his room for 35 years. It's time to let him out. Nicholas Hope is bad boy, Bubby. <laughs> I'll look for this on Tubi. Maybe it might be there, Amazon Prime. Uh, the more I read about what is going on with the Last of Us series, the more I'm feeling it will more than likely be trash. Oh, I didn't even hear what's going on with what's going on, Adam. I grew up with the the Peter Pan cartoon, but it wasn't something like the cartoon movie. But it wasn't something I watched all the time. Um, but, uh, it, I prefer the, the live action hook movie. You know what? To be honest, I actually really, I have not seen the Peter Pan movie with Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I heard that was kind of bad. Once I heard that at some point in the movie, Hugh Jackman's villains all sing a Nirvana song. I was out. 
I was like, what? And I like Nirvana, but I'm just like, what is this movie? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I have not seen the Hugh Jackman one, but believe it or not, I actually really liked um, the one that came out in the early 2000s. I think Jason Isaac played Hook, and he killed it as Hook. I don't know if you guys remember that one, but there was a Peter Pan movie that came out in early 2000s. I actually liked that. I thought that was good. I actually thought that was pretty good. <clears throat> I'm surprised the critics hated The Shining and Empire Strikes Back and Hook and Big Trim and Little China. Yeah. And Scarface and all the, and the thing. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. I think it's like a prequel, right? Because Captain Hook is not Captain Hook yet. And I think in that movie, he's like friends with Pan. And Hugh Jackman plays this other pirate who's like the terrorizing people. But all I heard was they break out in a song of Nirvana. And, I, and the movie's not a musical, but they break out in a song. And I'm like, what? What is happening? The crocodile from the Disney film. Oh, yeah. It is comedy. See? There you go. <laughs> it, but it was a good choice, right, Bob? Either If you hate the character, he's dead. Yay, score. If you like the character, you're like, holy shit, you're, you're stunned. You know? Oh, we got a fan. All right. He likes it. Chase likes it. So maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. This might, th that kind of movie might have to be a <laughs> 36 chamber level certified member that wants a dedicated movie review. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll review the movie. I'll do it like that, but otherwise I'm not going to, I'm not going to touch it. So. The actor the cast as Joel was quoted as saying he never played the games and that he wants to take the character in his own direction. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. Yee. I don't mind maybe bringing his own type of performance, maybe. But as long as it's not too different from Joel, that's a little strange, though. Like, ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know why these people don't do research. And it's not even like that difficult of research. Just play the game or watch some, watch like a playthrough or something, or watch someone put all the cinemas together with Joel's character. That's all you got to do. It's not like you have to do what Mickey Rourke did for Iron Man 2. Mickey Rourke for Iron Man 2 flew all the way to Russia spent his time out there to learn the Russian accent, then flew back <laughs> and <laughs> to barely be in Iron Man 2 and or barely talk in Russian in Iron Man 2. Um, I mean, you don't have to go to that much extreme for some of these characters, but they don't even bother, you know. And I heard that about the Halo TV series too. Like they, the people who wrote the show never played the games. But you can watch YouTube videos. You can get a brief. I'm sure there's tons of videos on there. And they can watch like, okay, what's the story of each game about? And just watch and be done with like a day of watching YouTube videos. And then there's your research, right? But I don't understand. We got a hundreds of millions of dollar production and property. Why can't you watch a YouTube video? <laughs> It's just, or something else, or go go online, go to Google. You know, I just don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It's like the girl from uh, Obi Wan, uh, the one that uh, I don't want to spoil it if you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, but yeah, the the actress that's hunting the character that's hunting Obi Wan. I'll just say that. She's never seen a Star Wars movie in her whole life. She's never seen not even the prequels because she looks young. So if she, growing up, the prequels would have been her Star Wars trilogy. 
not even the Disney movies. She's, I mean, they're not good, but except for Rogue One. But I mean, like, you'd think just out of curiosity, she'd watch the Disney ones because of the most recent, right? Or maybe the Mandalorian show, or maybe Star Wars Rebels or Clone Wars or something like that, right? You could take a week, binge, just binge watch for like a week. She's never seen anything Star Wars. I just don't understand that. <laughs> but I don't want to talk too much about it now. We'll talk about it Saturday. So. <laughs> Peter Pan, Days of Future's Past. <laughs> Yeah, they hated a lot of classics that we that we like that we love now. I, I remember see I remember some of the reviews for Empire Strikes Back. They were like, the first movie was so fun. And now it's just such a downer. How how disappointing <laughs> that's what the reviews were. <laughs> and now look at almost every movie trilogy that ever existed, it ever comes out now, even that template till this day is still inspired by Empire Strikes Back, that the second one is the dark one or something like that, right? Still to this day, trilogies are like that. And uh, it's just kind of funny. But yeah, they were like, oh, it's such a downer. They, you know what? They said that about, um, just if you want to take a recent movie, for example, they said that about Avengers uh, Infinity War. A lot of critics didn't like Avengers Infinity War because that ending, they were like, it was such a downer. How could they end the movie like that? <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's the point. That's the point. That's the point of the movie. The villain wins temporarily. But the villain wins. What other superhero movie do you have a villain win and basically take a vacation and retire on a farm Sit his ass on the porch <laughs> and just say, look up at the sun and go and nod his head like my work is done. That's it. That doesn't happen. That never happens in a superhero movie. It's so funny. Critics sometimes. I just don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. I just, I can't, I can't, you know, some people say that about Batman versus Superman 20 years from now, people are going to go, they're going to revisit it. They're going to be like, that wasn't that bad. Why does everybody hate this movie? <laughs> Underrated. Just watch, watch. I believe that more than the last Jedi. Thanks, Bobby, for Super Chat, brother. Uh, have as a pet, take picture with Runaway, Honey, Badger, Wolverine, the animal, Victor Salva. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to make of that, Bobby. <laughs> Living in a farm like he's Shrek. Yeah, superhero movies, they don't end that way, man. They don't. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine if this happened? Oh, see, I think a lot of people get it now that it wasn't that good of a movie. It was just all smoking, smoking mirrors, but it's still going to be the highest grossing film of all time. The sequel. Is going to be nominated for Best Picture and probably win. I'm telling you, it's going to happen, unfortunately. I did too, MK. Uh, Ultimate was a lot better watch. Things made more sense. Um, but it, it's not a perfect movie. It's not a perfect movie, but it's definitely the Ultimate Cut's a lot better watch for sure. Uh, 
it's funny. It's like people are saying that it's safe to like Spider-Man three now because of uh, No Way Home. <laughs> I think, like No Way Home fixed things. They said that about X Men: Days of Futures Past kind of helped retcon things. So it's like it's okay to like X three now. Like it's all right. <laughs> Because, hey, it gets fixed later, so it's okay. You know. <laughs> it's going to get 10 more sequels. Oh, yeah. That Raver actress came. Oh, man. <laughs> You think they would have the Last of Us series would have been done by now? I remember that being announced like way back. It's kind of strange. It's taken a long time. Oh, oh, I hear the music. Oh, shit. Oh, I got that beat. I got that beat. Uh, feeling it. Feeling it. Oh, shit. It's time to take it down a notch, baby. We're going to wrap it up today. I had a blast hanging out with all you badass, sexy motherfuckers. That's right. Everybody watching right now. Sumo knows what's up. Oh, shit. I had a blast tonight hanging out with all you amazing peeps. That's right. You guys are amazing. That's right. Not just sexy, but amazing. Hanging out with this knucklehead talking film and pop culture. That's how we do here. We like to have fun. Get the groove in. Oh, shit. I ain't got no rhythm. I don't give a fuck, though. Because I'm feeling it, man. Feeling it, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me get the last Nick Nolte juice of the night. Let's get this up in here. Oh, yeah. Had a blast tonight watching these movie trailers and doing trailer reactions, hanging out with you guys. We got the menu up in here. That's right. Gordon Ramsay leads a cult. Hey, fuck it. Let's see what's going to happen. Keep telling y'all, solid green is people, but you ain't listening. That's right. And we got the man from Toronto. Woody Harrelson, Kevin Hart, baby. That's right. Fully is good. And we laugh and have a good time, baby. That's right. And we got Big Driss, the fantasy flick. The whole movie is a, just resolves around. <laughs> the whole movie resolves around his Big Driss. That's right. Hey, that's all the movie's about. That's all she really wants. That's all she gonna wish for. You know what I'm saying? She wants that black millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what I'm saying. The black phone coming. Samurai guys intrigued. They didn't pussify it out. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get pussified. Go for them cheap seats. Get them butts in the seat. They won't bring Jimmy. They want to bring Bimmy. Get them in the seats to make that money. They said, nah, fuck it. Blumhouse said, fuck it. We gonna stay true to the horror genre. We got a movie starring Stranger Things kids in it. And fucking it, kids. But we gonna make it rated R, damn it. We gonna keep it 
badass. I'm looking forward to that. That's right. We're getting another movie, but fuck it. <laughs> it's another movie we talked about earlier. Can't remember what it is. But, oh, oh, I remember now, baby. That's right. Ninja Badass. That's right. A movie that looks like so much fun. Because all you think about is ninjas in church. Feeling the spirit. Flipping and flopping all over this motherfucker. That's right. And we got ex- blood squirting we got limbs being ripping the fuck off and all you see is some jibs hanging out on the on the side there you know what i'm saying we got ultimate villains up in here because the ultimate villains what do they do they steal puppies you know what i'm saying that's right explosions blood swords guns and boobies these are all pluses these are all pluses for our entertainment baby that's right. And uh, fuck that YouTube bot that blocked Samurai Guy earlier today. You know, just cutting me off. You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta do that? That's some fucked up bullshit, bot. That's some bullshit. Samurai Guy ain't trying to be an asshole. Samurai Guy trying to follow the rules. You know, but no, I had to get blocked. These motherfuckers. It's all good. Oh shit, what we got another sexy we got another sexy son of a bitch showing up. Oh an Ubis. Now I'm about to wrap it up right now, baby. Oh shit. You gotta go back, man. See what I saw on the menu. That's right, that's right. I wasn't blocked then. You know, YouTube didn't block me then. Son of a bitches. <laughs> but we gonna wrap it up tonight. Keep it smooth. Keep it cool. That's right. Samurai guy got to get out there, run some errands, baby. Got to do my thing. Tomorrow morning, going to wake up, hooking up with the sexy sumo. We going to lift. We going to walk. We going to exercise. We got to keep it going. Keep being active, baby. That's right. Keeping it smooth. You know how we do. Oh, shit. Before I wrap it up, just for fun and because I love you. Hold on, we gotta scroll it up. We gotta scroll it up. This Friday at Damn, I'm getting old. I'm forgetting all kinds of shit. <laughs> 5 p.m. Pacific time. This Friday. It's time for another Amazon watch party, baby. That's right. If you're a dream warrior tier or 36 chamber tier join samurai guy this friday at 5 p.m pacific time i will post the link for you guys to join the invite and we're gonna watch bruce lee's fist of fury baby yeah what about them dumb chucks fuck some people up that's right so that's friday i will post the link the invite link around 4 p.m to make sure everybody's getting in we'll have some fun do more of these watch parties i haven't did one in a while uh but yeah we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up <laughs> i used to listen to r kelly while working while making love <laughs> with my wife <laughs> that's it that's how she ready she want that burgle cut you know what i'm saying oh shit we're going to end it right now you guys are awesome you're badasses Keep being sexy. Thanks again for hanging out with the Samurai Guy. And I will see you guys. If you guys are on the right tier, Dream Warrior tier and Thirsty Chamber tier, I'll see you guys Friday. And don't forget Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, me and Lady Fab are going to hang out and we're going to do movie review catch up. That's right. Chippendales Rescue Rangers, The Northmen. And RRR, baby. And then we'll go into some Obi-Wan thoughts. So see you guys Saturday as well. Keep watching movies. Keep being awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.